with that DIY doll. She is no yoke. Let me give her a quick little freeze. I love the length of this phalange. We know. I wish we were all of them like that, but no. That is such a good movie. I haven't seen mm -hmm. it in a while. I don't know why that movie always reminds me of Christmas. Does it? Yes. I think it's at the beginning of it, maybe one. Jackie says, hi, Max. We cannot etch the tips anymore. Nope. All the newer one, two, three goes are pre-etched already. Some are not any, um, but we are slowly uh, getting rid of the stock that is not re-etched. Uh, and all of our newer styles are pre-etched. So all of like the XXL Sculpted series, the Extreme series, the 5XL series, the Mini Sculpted series, all of those are pre-etched. Is it relaxing? Mm -hmm. And then you have this little fold in here, so it makes you sleepy. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna cook or go out? Really? That is really bad for losing weight. I just tell people and what's the difference. I can make that at home, but I just have somebody else making it for me. Uh, because you don't know what they're putting in there. Or what kind of oils they're using and things like that. But then I don't need that much anyways. And I always play safe because I'm thinking of chilies. Chilies, there's nothing healthy at chilies. I love fajitas. Really? And then I think food at like those kinds of places probably has a lot of preservatives too. Really? Just the idea of having to go out to eat at a restaurant just makes me tired. Really? Yes. Do you eat at home every day? Uh, now that I'm on a diet, yes. But I was a huge Uber Eats person. Well, I don't do Uber Eats, but we eat out at like seriously, we eat out every day. That was the thing every day when, like, at lunchtime, I would ask Lena. I was like, Lena, what's for lunch today? And she's like, I don't know, Max. Let's see what we're gonna order. And now that we're on diets. Those days are long gone. Now we're paying the price for uh, indulging. Yeah. They always put so much salt in foods at restaurants. Oh yeah, I've heard that like restaurants that food taste so good is because either they cook it with like more butter than normal people would, or also like a lot of garlic and probably um, MSG too. Because I heard MSG uh, enhances enhances the flavor of food. <laughs> Isn't MSG illegal though? I don't even know what MSG is. It's a seasoning and food. Oh. You know one thing that I do love? And it's also, I think, I a preservative. Every day to have it on. Really? Oh my god, and from Hannah Tokyo has that. You like Hannah Tokyo? Just the I don't like Hannah Tokyo. No, the food there is so bad. Yeah, and expensive too. But I love it. Their lunch is not expensive. They have the bento box for mm -hmm. like 10 bucks. That's okay. Edinami there? Really? MSG is legal. It's legal or illegal? No. Oh. MSG makes your brain want it. Yeah. <laughs> My brain wants it right now. So we're gonna bake these for one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. I remember feeling really weird when I was in Thailand. Yes. I remember like having headaches and feeling really like, why do I feel so bad? And they're like, oh it's probably the MSG. And I was like, what? They're like, yeah, we use it a lot here in Thailand. It brings out the flavor in the food. I was like, no wonder I feel so bad. And since like we don't, we're not so accustomed to eating it, I think we it made me feel terrible. Do you like MSG, Lena? Really? Do they sell it here? Like at the Asian markets, probably, huh? What does it look like? Like salt? Does it taste like anything by itself? Oh, it tastes like salt? But it enhances the flavor of the food, right? And it makes you addicted to it. <laughs> You're like, why does this salt have a little skull on it? But yes, supposedly the MSG brings out the flavor in the food. It makes it more delicious. But it gives you... No, I don't know what it does actually, <laughs> but I know it's bad. 
So I also put the lamp on 99 second timer. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, that's so that way she won't feel the crunk, aka the heat spike. So what it'll do is um, our lamp has four buttons, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 99 seconds. So the 99 seconds will gradually <laughs> increase the um, strength of the lamp so that way she doesn't feel any uh, discomfort. And now we have to unfortunately cut them. So let's kind of get a visual of where I have to cut, unfortunately. Oh my goodness. But just the shape like this is so beautiful. Those were the days, huh, Andrea? And then we would do like every finger different color in zebra. Ed Hardy nails. Tiger prints. Let me know if you guys remember Ed Hardy nails. Those were a thing back in the day. The old designs we used to do. So nobody's seen any of the new Planet of the Apes movies? I'm surprised. Nobody likes them. Really? I saw War of the Planet of the Apes and I was like, this isn't that bad actually. I thought the special effects were pretty good. I thought they were so good. I thought it was my dad for the longest time. I was like, why is my dad playing around with all these monkeys? Visual shortening them make them weak? Nope. And they still have that massive, beautiful C curve. So now we're gonna snatch up the shape. Jamie says I've seen them all. The new ones or the old ones? Cindy says I love your shirt, Max. This thing is beautiful. Thank you, and it's silk too. Isn't it beautiful? It's Christian Dior. So I was saving it for um, for a business meeting, and I was like, "Well, today I had one, so I work today." I'm gonna have a portfolio manager. I'm gonna get into stocks and bonds and 401ks and what things like some that. Of my clients complain about um, if you have a client that has a heat spike, all you have to do is just turn on the low uh, low heat mode on your lamp. So she's saying, "Why do some of the clients?" Oh, it, there's no it specific hurt? reason. Well, mine, because it hurts. <laughs> it's hot. There's, there could be lots of reasons why somebody can feel a heat spike with um, a gel service, but you just got to uh, put it on a low heat mode or do uh, less gel and uh, more layers. Miriam says, what, when are you going to wear your Chanel shirt? Uh, when I get it back. I sent it to get it uh, tailored because it was too short for me. I try, I try. And that pitch, um, Ali says I'm perfect because of a thin nail bed. Well, there's lots of different reasons. So it's, I can't like diagnose one reason, but it could be that. Or it could be too much gel because you could have a, like a super healthy nail bed, but if you plop a lot of gel on there, she's gonna burn. And it's not really a burn, what it is is actually the gel reacting, it's uh, activating, and it's uh, it's called the catalyst. But it usually goes away after a few seconds. Another little trick you can do too, is have your, the client push her fingers down inside the, the base of the lamp like this, and it'll take the edge off. Beautiful. the blending of the cube.
So I couldn't remember if in Planet of the Apes there was an ape called... I know there was Dr. Zaius, but wasn't there one called Cornelius too? I know the old, like, Charles Heston one, like the first first one, and I think that the, the, um, the one with uh, Mark Wahlberg, they shot it outside of Phoenix in uh, Lake Mead, or Lake Med. I was like, that place is beautiful. When we drive back, oh my god, it really does look like another planet. Should take pictures there on there. Yes, or like your like your wedding pictures or something like that. I'll let out there in Lake Mead or like Med. It is so pretty. And then Laughlin is right there. We can go get our 99 cent breakfast at the <laughs> Showboat Casino. I've been to Laughlin I think once. Really? Twice. I've never been to Laughlin. Like I I think we drove through it once and I was like. You literally blink and it's gone. It's nice though. It's like uh, a very, very small Las Vegas strip on water. Ugh, that blend is no joke. Both, while supplies last. So we're going to go in with them and Manny again. And begin to really airbrush that cuticle nice and tight. So I'm using the machine at a low speed, about 8,000 RPM, to make sure I can really go in and detail all that area without worrying about uh, breaking the skin. And the blending of the cuticle, you guys, is so important because it really does help take away that press on any kind of look to the nail. Unless you want it to look like a press on, and then you just leave it as is. But doing this, I feel, really helps improve um, the durability of the nail and also the overall final look. I try. It was funny, too, because this morning on my Instagram, this lady put... A hundred dollars, all I'm gonna get for free is one bottle of gel polish. Sure shows how you care about your clients. And I was like, girl, I ain't got to give away nothing for anything. How ungrateful is that? I don't know any other company right now that's giving away one free bottle of gel polish with every purchase over a hundred dollars in the US. I was like, how ungrateful is that? What does she want? Like my DNA or like <laughs> my hair just want my bundles it's yeah, like uh, you your phone numbers, yeah I was like no I can't and this is watching from I'm from Ireland love me a good Irish accent so we're going to take our nail drill to the lowest speed with the diamond prep bit and we're just going to really airbrush all that contact area, make sure there is no dry skin. Make sure everything is nice and seamless. Joyce is high from PA. High from Pennsylvania. Dutch country, I think. just had a baby not that long ago. Hi. Beautiful. Hi. 
Hi, Allie. Thanks for joining us today. So let's refine the shape one more time before we begin our design. This matching. There's these candy bars in the UK that I love that I can't get here and I haven't had one in a really long time. They're called Milky Bars! And they say I kind of look like the Milky Bar Boy. Chocolate with mango? Mm -hmm. It was chocolate. Like a bar? Nope. Little things like this. And they were in a box. They were so good. Really? Mm -hmm. It sounds familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Trader Joe's does have these cookies. I'm not a big sweet person, but they have these birthday cook uh, birthday cake cookies that have like uh, birthday cake frosting on, on the middle. Oh my god, they're so good. It literally tastes like two shortbread cookies with a uh, cake frosting in the middle. Oh my gosh, that would be so sweet. Just use the company address. I will love you forever more if you post me some Milky Bars. They're so good. English chocolate is really good. And you know it's banned in America? Really? Yeah. So they Yeah, yeah, But like, it's a old, like nobody enforces it. It was like from, like when the country first started. We did that because uh, we, they did it to us too. So like Hershey's chocolates are like really expensive in the UK and they're made there and ours are made here so they taste really different. Because I think the first ingredient in our chocolate is cocoa and theirs is like sugar or milk or something. And I remember the first time I went to Germany too, I bought um, chocolate too. My mom's like, it tastes like goat milk. It was too strong. Uh huh. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, pastries. The uh, German pastries are so good. Uh, no, that would take off uh, too much product. Oh yeah, those are Australian. Those are cookies. And they have so many flavors now with Tim Tams. I think they sell those here now. Like at Cost Plus World Market. They're pretty good. A Tim Tam Slam. It's a very Aussie treat. Belgium chocolate. Yeah. So we're going to use A pink number seven. Now there's eight A pinks, you guys. And they're all stunning. This one is like a very deep, warm nude with a beautiful opalescent pink shimmer. C curl up, what's that? For who? Mm -hmm. The which brush was it? The pink magic or which one? The one with the little ball at the end of it? Oh, send her a return label. because A-Pink is a 3-in-1 product, you guys, I do like to apply it a little bit thinner 
so that way it won't add too much bulk to the nail because a pink is a base coat it is a color and it is also a natural nail strengthener so I really like to take my time and work the product into the nail and then when I reach the side what I like to do is I take my brush and I like go against the edge so that way I don't make the nail like super thick on the side love it it's beautiful and it's a great color for every skin tone as well too whether it be super fair super deep warm tone cool tone everybody looks really pretty in pretty much every single a pink color and now that there's eight there's so much variety in the line too you guys it's incredible and they smell really delicious That color, it's so beautiful. Then we're gonna wipe the side, make sure there's no excess. Really? Part dancing it up at dance interior. Beautiful. Let's bake that for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Anytime we're gonna do sticker work, you guys, a very important uh, tip is to make sure that gel polish, if you're going to do it on top of gel polish, is fully cured. If you do it on top of semi-cured gel polish, literally, you're gonna have a mess and it's not gonna be cute. Remember you guys, there are three essential tools when doing sticker work. Pink tweezers, silicone tool, and our scissors, which are over here. to fix mine. They are a mess. So we're going to take hand sanitizer because it has a very low water content and put it on a Lux brush wipe. If you use alcohol, it will make the stickers peel off. And just give her a quick little wipe to remove that sticky layer, the oxygen inhibition layer. Do you carry the silicone tool? Yes, it comes in a five pack. Give her a little, little fan so that way she dries up. And then we'll be ready to begin the snatching. So remember, it's really important to make sure that the stickers are not too close to the edge because if the stickers are too close to the edge, they will peel. If you wanna apply your sticker all the way to like the end of the perimeter of the nail, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna trim it. So that way you have a clean line and the sticker doesn't peel or come off. Okay, now we're ready. And then take the silicone tool and press. No, they're gonna be different. Oh, okay. So that way the nails tell a story. 
And you need to press down firmly to make sure there's no bubbles in the nail. That way the sticker doesn't peel off or anything. And these butterflies were sold out on the website, but now they're back in stock. We literally make the best stickers. We really kill the game when it came to our sticker manufacturing. I'm getting those tweakers. They are going to make your job so much easier when it comes to um, sticker application. So you can see that this sticker, it's kind of like over the edge. So just go in with your pink scissors, trim it, and then press down. Mm, look at that, you guys. So beautiful. They're the game changer. So press down firmly, make sure there's no discrepancies in the phalange. Can you use the foils and put it on top Yes! And then I would do a coat of press on gel, clear press on gel over the entire nail. And remember, you can um, layer our stickers, you can encapsulate them under builder gel, you can encapsulate them under hard gel. The possibilities are really limitless. It's really up to you. You're in complete control when it comes to the design. And you guys can see that even though these nails have a super deep C curve, that sticker just goes on like butter.
<laughs> really? Yeah, I don't have to say anything. Chilies it is. Are you gonna make healthy choices or are you gonna indulge a little bit? Oh, that's your your go-to. That is your go-to. I have a thing against fajitas. Why? I think because when I was little, I went to La Parrilla Suiza, mm -hmm. and they um, had the fajitas, and they were they made me sick. So ever since then, I do not eat fajitas. They traumatized me. I have my own brand of rhinestones. So that's what I use. I don't use anything that's not inocator. Can't touch it. Mm -mm. Look how beautiful it is, you guys. No, where is that? It's like, I don't know, it's like the spectrum, but I guess everybody's like crazy about it. Really? I'm like, what is by below? Let's ask the girls. What is by below? Really? Oh, I don't know. I mean, that's what... Well, it sounds like a pretty good ganga, though. Uh-huh. So we'll ask one or people now. What is five below? Or is it everything is five dollars or below? But is it like a Dollar Tree? Oh, it's a fancier Dollar Tree. So they sell clothes and things like that, or what? Uh, I don't think clothes. Or just like knickknacks. Because you know me, I love me a good dollar store. And it's better than the dollars. Yeah, it's like a Dollar Tree, but better. So how can it call itself, you know, a dollar like five store? Five dollar and below. Yeah. Five below. Oh, they do sell clothes. Oh, a little of everything. For five dollars of clothes? We have five below here. Most items are below five dollars, but some things are a little more. They sell clothes and everything. They have toys and electronics. Wow. It's a nice store. 
How's the quality? Where a fashion bug used to be? Maybe. I don't know. An art and Japanese food and other gifts. Really? At five below? Mm -hmm. That many knickknacks? Like a lot. It's very popular. Really? Yeah. Like people are slightly better quality. A lot of people are going cray cray because it's here now. Really? Everybody in Salvadita. It's all over our Rancho page. Really? Mm -hmm. Like they're super excited. Well, there's one in Phoenix. But not here. Well, now there is here. There's no more Fias Paredes here. Or Factory to you. I did see a, a, a Fias Paredes though in Houston. The one on St. Mary's closed down too? I think so. Wow. So now we're going to do a nice thin layer of clear press on gel over the entire phalange. It's amazing items. Better than Walmart. Really? Yeah. Have tonight, Better than Wally World? Oh, Dollar? This is your phone. Yes. Shit, I thought it was mine. Dollar Tree does have some pretty good things though. Sometimes. But my favorite is 99 cents only. Oh really? Mm-hmm. They do have some cute colors for nail polish. Mm -hmm. like, oh, gee. I do bank dam damage here. No money left on their stuff. <laughs> yeah, you should check it out. Five below. I thought, like, when you first did it, and it was at that um, Spectrum Shopping Center, mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be kind of like that store that only had, like, certain sizes. Like, five, seven, nine, or uh, whatever it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. What were you, the five? Seven. The seven? What happened to that store? They all closed down, huh? People, if that store was around nowadays, people would say that store is not inclusive. But that's like saying, like, Tory is not inclusive. Yeah. Rainbow, do you remember that one? Mm -hmm. Is that still around? In Phoenix. Really? Yes, it is. No, it's The rainbow? No. So we're gonna take my bottom chick of bottom chicks glitter, which is Prisma. We're gonna add some to the phalange. So like little knickknacks and trinkets mm -hmm. and things like that. Lena, have you ever been to Five Below? Have you heard about it? What good things or bad things? <laughs> oh, thank you.
your mom cook good? Uh, some things. Yeah. <laughs> some things. I don't think she would cook good. She cooks more now that um, she's at home more often. But she was never the homemaking kind of uh, really? woman. Yeah. That she was always. Not picture that. She always was working. She was. Mm. I would still picture her. You know who's, who cooks? Mm. Bethany's mom. Really? Oh my gosh. Bethany cooks good, good too. And mm -hmm. Roxanne. Roxanne actually cooks just like her mom. But Bethany's mom? She gets down in the she kitchen? She gets down in the kitchen. How beautiful that like, is. I usually don't like one. Mm -hmm. But she makes a good one? She makes a good one. Really? I've never liked one until I had her son. Wow, that good. Mm -hmm. You know, some people make it too chocolatey or some people make it too spicy. And hers is just like a perfect. perfect mix. It's just perfect. <laughs> I mean, every time she allows her taco, I mean, you name it. And it's well, amazing. Maybe amazing. we should go to her house yeah. for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Homemade tortillas. Really? And, and it's like you get, when she cooks, it's not like you get just rice and beans. Like she's making some salad with it and a macaroni salad and a potato, you know, like. She goes all yeah, out. She goes all out. Yeah. Wow. Very good cook. I'm surprised Bethany hasn't like opened up a restaurant for her or something. I know. She should. Tracy says. Which glitter is that, please? Prisma. But I heard restaurants are like really hard to run oh, and like make sure. a profit. Uh, unless you're like already established. You like Alexis when she works at Manuel's, you know? And it's been there forever. And especially after Rona, that a lot of restaurants got affected by it. Mm -hmm. Well, look at Rigo's. That closed. No. I'm so bummed. That place I like sold Rigo's. so cheap, too. It did. What are they doing with it? I'm not sure. So, the lady that bought it was the um, the landlord of it. Oh, really? So, she got it, like, super cheap. Oh, that's sad. She should have at least kept it open for them. Well... She did, but I guess they were paying the rent, and the guy was like, "It's not, it's not worth it," because I guess people were not really ordering from their uh, their Uber Eats or whatever. Because I guess uh, their thing was more like when they had the mariachi breakfast or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still got there quite a bit. I loved her gamina pinta soup. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so good. Really? Mm -hmm. All of her soups, all the soups. Are And then the other one that was really good too was um, Cafe Poca Cosa. Oh yeah, that's right. And that closed down too? I think one of their locations did. Oh my gosh, yeah, that place was really good too. So good. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of Mexican food, but I would go yeah. eat there. Yeah. People are always surprised that I say I don't like Mexican food, and I was like, well, it depends. Yeah. And then plus Mexico is such a huge country too. Mm -hmm. Like land-wise, there's so many different varieties of meals and things. Sides, make sure everything is skinny and mini. Beautiful. Let's bake this for 30 seconds. Clean up a little tip of this. Mary says they've lost a lot of restaurants in Illinois. Really? But like some restaurants never close down. Like, but I mean, I don't understand bye bye. how bye bye. they would because um, the PP, whatever that loan, like, did they not get it? They couldn't survive off of that? Well, it depends on your payroll account, too. But I know a lot of people got the PPP loan. I didn't. No, you didn't qualify? I didn't just do it because oh. it would be bad against me if I my house. Really? Why? I don't know. I don't think that's true. That's what it's for. It's it's 
federal government money to help people. I mean, it's not like they're going to give you like a million dollars either. And even if you don't get it um, forgiven, you uh, the interest rate is really low. Oh, really? Yeah. So let's go in now with a nice thin coat of shiny over the entire phalange. Make sure everything is nice and sealed. Even layer of shiny gel. You leaving, Lena? Don't party too much. Living it up, Lena, always. Lena the stallion. Stay out of trouble, Lena. There we go. Beautiful. It's your day off tomorrow. Oh. So now let's bake these for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Thank you, Amanda. I'm surprised my mom hasn't called. Oh my Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna go in with the 240 grit file. This is says, how do you say thin max? Me? I would like to know that too. I, uh, I'm trying to think. Got me a hard one there. Uh, I go to a diet clinic. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever yeah. my, well, no, not really. Whatever you do, I don't. Okay. No, because I watch more what I eat than you. Yeah. And I don't drink alcohol. I do. Well, I do. <laughs> she drinks it for me. Yeah. Um, I go to a diet clinic. Um, I try to be really conscious about what I eat. Um, lots of water. Uh, lots of diet pills. Bye. <laughs> uh, and I think that's it because I hate exercising. I should exercise because if I had a nice body, I would probably live stream shirtless, but I don't. At the beginning of the video, I'd be like, Andrea, can you put this coconut oil all over my body? All over my big old hard packs and washboard abs, but that is not the case. So I'm just taking a 240 grit file and just touching up the shape, making sure it's nice and skinny and mini. And like I said, don't use anything sharper than a 240 because we're not like debulking the nail. We're just touching it up, touching it up, making sure she has her spanks so. on. At least walk it off. You're like from the restaurant to the car. <laughs> the car to the garage, hmm. the garage to my bed. I'll go to the gym. Ugh, just the idea. 
I wish I was one of those people that would like love to exercise. Like to Really? But she's always been tiny though. She's so solid. Really? Yeah. Does she have nice little toned arms? Uh -huh. and the butt and her legs. Really? Yeah. She's very into her body, making sure it's right. She drinks a lot of water, cranberry juice when we go out to restaurants. Yeah. She doesn't drink no soda. Help with the uh, water retention. So it's crazy, she has so much bad acne. Really? Is she on birth control? No. Is it the kind that's red or does it have like white? Uh, it's red. Oh, then it's like um, hormonal. Yeah. Yeah. He'll probably put it like on an antibiotic or um, Accutane. Well, no, they're not going to do Accutane yet. They're doing another one called Dox or something. Mm -hmm. Before the Accutane. And retinol too. Yeah. Well, we already tried that and that didn't work. Well, retinol takes a while to work. And I even take her to get her does she use makeup? Uh huh. What makeup does she use? Heart. Well, there you go. <laughs> Problem solved. Why does she need tart? She's 16. She doesn't need. Really? But that's like heavier. Really? She's 16. She just needs a tint of moisturizer. You want you want people to see that fresh face skin. <laughs> And there we have it, children. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Love it. Let's turn on some hard light. Here we are spending all this money to have fresh face skin, and here are the 16-year-olds wearing, like, yeah. full coverage concealer. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. So stunning. And that shape of the phalange is everything. Look at that C-curve, you guys. Stunning, stunning. Look at that C-curve like this. Oh, so beautiful. Stunning. Do you guys love it? Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live. Oh, you have to pick a winner. Oh, pick a winner. A winner for okay. the giveaway. Who is it going to be? Who is the winner for today? Does Tracy Evans live in America? America. Tracy, where do you live, dear? She's still here? Da, da, da. Come through, Tracy. Tracy. Hello, hello. Yes, no, maybe so. Maybe. Where are you, girl? I guess she didn't stay till the end. Uh, yes, Idaho. Oh, Idaho. Okay. So, Tracy, you have 24 hours to email info at enalcouture.com. Again, that email is info at enalcouture.com to claim your prize. Congratulations. And that's going to be a wrap for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out all of our restock. and.